about practicing a lot and taking it really seriously when you do that. Yes. I'm going to turn the computer so it's facing facing us. That might be better for the microphone. Okay. So here we go. Now remember that uh, like this simple example here, a unit rate is always dividing. Right. So we're dividing. Okay. How do you do number one? We do divide by By what? 100 divided by 5, right? And we get 20. So it's 20 bucks an hour. Okay, thank you, sir. Uh, now for the next one, how do we decide which one we're dividing by? Are we dividing by 2 ninths or by 5 ninths? Right, because this is, thank you, this young lady in the back here said per hour. Since it's per hour, we have to divide by the hour number. So it's 5 ninths. Divide, oops, I wrote the wrong number. Five nines divided by two nines. How many people got that part? Me. So many people. Good. So now we don't forget to use the reciprocal if you want to call it keeper, changer, flipper, whatever you flipper. I don't know what to do. Keep change, flip. Yeah, that thing. I don't do the flipper thing, but I just use the reciprocal. All right, so reciprocal. Now we're going to divide these two by nine. Yup. And we get 5 over 2 uh -huh. or 2 and a half. Yep. So 5 over 2 is fine. Now, if you multiply it across, right, if you did 5 times 9, what would you have gotten? You would have gotten 45 on top, and you would have gotten 9 times 2, 18. And then you can divide those two by 9 later. But for me, it's easier to divide it first. Any questions? No. We good? We good? We good? Okay. Yes. Moving on. Now, I actually am going to give you a calculator for this test, like, like the other classes. So when you divide these two, how much is one hour? A seven, seven Yeah, seven bucks and 75 cents, which is not paying practically anything. That's terrible pay. Okay, how much is three hours? Uh, 23.25 cents. Now, how do you find how much that is? Calculator. Well, you divide Four. since every hour is seven seventy-five. You gotta divide by seven seventy-five, right? One hundred seventy dollars and cents divided by seven seventy-five, and you get how many hours? Four. No. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. It Seven. jumped. It jumped a bunch. It jumped a bunch. It have so you yeah. kind of need a calculator for that, huh? Yeah. Anybody do it without calculator? I bet some of you did. I tried to, but I failed. And then it asks the same thing we already knew. The price per gallon is seven seventy five. All right. What is it? Seven seventy five. That's cheap. So determine if the next one is proportional. All right. What do you guys think? Proportional or not? Not. 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 You're right. So the easiest way to do this is to look for one that you can divide evenly. So you see this one? We can divide that one and find out what it is. It's not $15.50. This one would be, I think, 15 bucks, wouldn't it? Yeah. Exactly 15. So we already know that this one does not match that one. And these ones are something else even different than that. So we don't have to do all of them. We just have to find out they don't match. Now, does anybody have a reason that they wrote that they want to share? There's one way I want you to write it. Thank you. We, I want you to write it because the unit rate. Why well, I wrote a really cool T. Are you proud of me? Yes. Yeah, the unit rates are not the same, and so it doesn't stay proportional. Are not the same. All right, here we go. So what about this one? Proportional or not? Brian says yes. Will yeah. you agree? Yes. 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 Good job, Brian. Excellent, sir. Yes, because we divide both of them, and the unit rate is what? Seven, right? The unit rate is seven. Now, if any one of these would have not matched, it would have been not proportional. But since they all match, you're going to say proportional. How do you know? Because the unit rate 
or the or that you could say the constant proportionality too. Remember, it's the same thing. The constant. Well, I know it's super long. Oh, proportionality. That's really. I don't. I don't feel like writing it out. Yes. The, the COP. Sometimes they call it the. Okay, I'll write it out J -O -P? for YouTube for my fans on YouTube. Okay. So either the constant of proportionality or the unit rate stays the same. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is the same. It stays the same. Always the same. Either way. In Espanol, it's mismo. 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 The same. Oh, no, I'm not that good at Spanish. Okay, why is there an extra mark here? Okay. Determine if the graph shows proportional. What do you think? Yes. 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 You're so right. And how do you know? Two I reasons. Know because it's a straight line and starts at the origin. You all know that so well because I made you write it over and over. So a straight line and starts at the origin. Starts at zero, zero or the origin. Okay, moving down. Okay, proportional or not? Yes. No. No, no because no. it goes, it starts at one here, not at zero. It has to start at the origin. It has to start at the origin. So you're going to say, why is it not proportional? No. Oh, because it does not start at zero, zero or the origin. You like purple, you guys? Let's yeah, say purple on a on a Thursday. day. On a Thursday. day. Purple on a Thursday. day. All right. Can you go up? Right there. Is that enough? Does not start at zero zero or anything. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. So what is the constant here? If we divide. 330. You're right. How many people got that? Yeah. And it's easy because they give you a one there, right? So you just look at the one with one, and that's it. All right, students in the front, what do you guys need? You guys okay? Yeah. Okay, try to do it quietly since we're recording the YouTube video. Sorry. Sure. Okay. All right, write the equation. Ooh, ooh, who knows how to do this? Y equals, y equals 330x. Excellent job, Alexa. Remember, you have to have a y, an x, and a number in between. So you guys are going to have to type this during the test. Okay. Okay. You're gonna. There's a proportional relationship between the numbers of pitchers of lemonade and the numbers of lemons. ¿Cómo se dice lemon en español? Limón. Limón. That's right. Almost the same. Limón. No, it's a little bit small, though. Not the same. All right. So, I know my Spanish is terrible, but I like the language, so. Anyway, here we go. Constant of proportionality. What is it? Five. Five, five because there's five for every one. And it's always the, the, the X divided by the Y, right? The, the bottom divided by the left number. Okay, so it's five. That's it. We just write five. And then, what does it mean? Anybody, can anybody tell me in words, like in real life, what does it mean? There are five lemons. Limons. Limons. Yeah. Per one pitcher. Per pitcher. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. For every one pitcher. This is going to be multiple choice for every one pitcher. If there's a question like this, it'll be multiple choice. Okay. Write the equation. It's almost like the other one. Y equals? Y equals 5x. And what does 735 mean? It means you have 35. What? Lemons. Lemons. Or 7 pictures. Yeah. Hi, YouTube.